All right. Roll sound. Sound rolling. Roll camera. Camera rolling and slate. ETO KY trick two. Janetta Roberts, take one. It's one of the things that that we want to do, and that's the whole purpose of this work, is to amplify voices. Um, there are dominant narratives out there that, uh, that control, that usually support systems. That's what they do. Dominant narratives support systems. And we have structural racism, we have systemic poverty, we have all these systems. And so what we want to try to do is lift up counter stories and, and amplify voices in these communities. Um, and so we come, we come to listen and amplify these voices that really have been silenced uh, in many ways and, and, and just be um, a way or be a, be a partner to come alongside, to walk alongside, to work alongside and to listen uh, to these communities and amplify these voices. To see environmental racism, all you have to do is open your eyes. All of these toxic um, um, locations, all these toxic areas are basically in one area and so and they're all communities of color. I believe the, the statistic is 75% of toxic um, areas uh, are near communities of color. What you'll hear in this documentary is individual stories of hurt and harm. You'll hear cries from those individuals whose families have been damaged. You'll hear learned pieces from individuals who study both the issue of racism as well as the issue of the science behind environmental pollution. And when you hear it, what I think will happen is that you'll become engaged. It will give you something that will be your rally call to go forth and say, you know what, we need to do something. We want to pivot and be able to to point to and to say, okay, what does it mean to do, what do, what do reparations look like? What does restoration look like? What does revitalization actually look like in practice in a community um, that has been redlined, that has been historically marginalized and dehumanized by systems? You know something when you see it and you can tell that this um, Molo village and, and the work that's happening here in the West End is, um, is, is they're embodying transformation. They really are. They're embodying what that looks like. Um, and, and specifically, and most importantly, that it's community-led, community-based. The power is held in the community, and they, the community itself is directing it. So when we hear that we're doing it right here at the Village at West Jefferson, it makes us proud. Uh, we embarked on this project as a uh, service to the residents of this area. How we define doing it right is that we did involve residents uh, in the planning of this building as well as the fundraising aspect uh, as a community development corporation. Uh, we truly built a village of um, uh, tenants that are healthy for this neighborhood that cover food, it covers financial institutions, uh, we have a business incubator here, so doing it right means that we were very responsive to those needs. Uh, of course we want to be financially successful with this project, but does it really serve the neighborhood in which it is? And we also do it right by not leaving anyone behind. David has a way of going in and pulling out that perfect nugget and highlighting that nugget that makes the point in the most eloquent way possible. But we are not filmmakers. There's only a limited amount of people that we may be able to share our story with. Uh, we may not be equipped uh, to broadcast at this platform. So we're just very thankful that the work that we're doing, that other people are willing to come and profile and put us on a broader platform. And what we hope comes from this work is that other communities are inspired uh, to do a similar project to see the same impacts we have, but we would not be able to reach as many people if it's not for the work of David Barnhart to make sure that our voices are heard, our project is profiled. So we look forward to the future to perhaps hear people that are inspired by this work. These aren't just films, they're resources. They're resources for people to, um, to amplify voices that have been silenced, to, to educate and to, um, for people to find a way to engage. Um, people want to people be a part of a movement and want to be a part of a movement for justice. <laughs>